Hello everyone, it's Justin again and welcome back to my beautiful vlogs. It's a pleasure to have you all back for episode number two here with me. Now, last uh, video I talked to you guys a little bit about senioritis and how to avoid senioritis to make sure the year goes as you want it to. Now, I touched on a little basis, which was time management. Now, on this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about time management and how easy it really is to manage your time and manage your workload so you get everything done in a timely fashion and still have some time left over to chill, hang out, and enjoy your senior year. And the year you're in right now, even all the way up through college and the rest of your life. Now, one of the big, big, big things about time management that you want to keep in mind is that you want to have an agenda. That's rule number one. When you want to manage your time the right way, you have to get yourself an agenda. Get a little notebook if you really have to. Uh, I got a little blue notebook that I keep everything I have. I write everything down in there, and that's how I know what to do. You'll never miss a due date if it's written down right there in your little notebook. Like I said, you don't need to go to your school and buy one of their special student-made cover notebooks for $10, $15. You can go to uh, Office Depot and buy yourself one of those notebooks for $0.99. Cents. You can look through your school supplies that you may have in a closet somewhere, pick up one of those. Heck, you can get a block of wood and write on the block of wood when your next test is. It's that simple. Just get a little something that you can hold on to that you won't throw away, that you can write everything down in, and you'll be set. Now, number two, when it comes to time management and making sure you get things done on time and in the right way. If you have free time at school, start your work. I know we have study hall at my school and study hall is a great time to catch up on some homework you might have missed or to do some homework that maybe you don't want to do tonight. If you have some free time in school, you have a sub for a class, you have study hall, do your homework, study for that test, go get tutored from your teacher. It's simple to do anything in school when you have the free time and clear up some time at home. When I have study hall and I have maybe I didn't finish all my homework the night before, I have an hour and a half because of my block schedule to finish up my homework. Or if I got homework the day before that I don't really want, I didn't really do them that night, and I don't want to do it when I get home from school, study hall. I have an hour and a half to do it then. Maybe during a class where you have a sub that day and you're and you have already finished your classwork that the teacher left you, do some work then. Or if the sub lets you do some work then, if you don't have any work to do, there's all there's always always time in school to do some work and save yourself an hour, maybe an hour and a half or longer at home. It's an easy little trick to do, but not many people do it. Take advantage of the time you have. And rule number three for time management and making sure you get everything done on time is something I said in the last video, but it applies here so well. To make sure you get everything done on time, do it. Actually, do it. Don't say I'll save it for tonight. Don't say I'll save it till tomorrow. Don't say it only takes me 30 minutes to do it. I have four hours to do something else. Guys, please don't. If you, when you get home, you sit down and you start that work. This is the word, I, it's the same thing I talked about in my last video when it came to senioritis. Procrastination. Procrastination is the killer. All right? You need, when you come home, you sit down and you do your work. Maybe grab a quick snack, maybe grab a drink of water. But you sit down, you start your work, you work for maybe an hour. Whatever you get done in that hour, congratulations. You're that much closer to being done. You're an hour closer to being done with all the work you have to do and all your studying. But if you want to make sure you get things done on time, then you need to actually do them. Maybe don't go out with your friends after school. Maybe don't hang out Saturday night. Maybe spend your Friday night at home. But if you have work to do, you have to do it. Don't think that you're gonna have time later. Always pretend that you're run that you're out of time. Pretend like the night you have is the night you got and you have to finish your work then. That way you'll always get your work done on time. Now I'm not saying don't hang out with your friends, but if you know you have four hours of the homework and studying at home and your friends wanna go out till 10 o'clock, maybe pass. 
Number four, to make sure that you can save your time is to save time on your college search and your scholarship searches and head on over to my friends here at College Express. College Express is full and full of colleges and scholarships just waiting for you. You gotta put in your name and your school, your email address, and you're good to go. College Express will hook you up with hundreds of scholarships and colleges that you can look into and you can pick from that. It's so simple, it's so easy, and it's quick, and it'll save you so much time. And don't forget, you can go to the College Express Twitter, which is simply at College Express, right over here, guys. And they'll tweet out, and you can keep up to date with College Express, all their advancements they're doing, and all the ways that they're helping you get to college faster, easier, and to get out of there owing as little as possible. And don't forget guys, if you want to see more of me on the regular, go ahead and hit me up on my YouTube channel, which is Poor Plot Productions, P-O-O-R-P-L-O-T space, P-R-O-D-U-C-T-I-O-N-S, Poor Plot Productions, P times three. Hit me over here on my YouTube channel, you can catch more of me. I've got live streams that I do, I've got videos I've posted, go ahead and hit them up. You can see even more of my gorgeous bearded face in the backwards hats, right there on the YouTube channel. And you know what guys, once again, I'd like to thank you all so much for catching up with me on this second video. It's fantastic making these. I want to thank College Express again for giving me this opportunity. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great school year.